So earlier also we discussed it's very important for interview. Question is procure to pay process. Procure to pay process. Somewhere randomly, I will explain today. Procure to Okay, uh, I did not accept note down. Procure to pay. So you are able to hear, right? At least you are understanding, right? Puja? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so okay, at least later also now you can mute it. Later you can watch it once again. Okay, so procure to pay process I already see the scheme of entries already we discussed. We need to design the scheme of entries depending on the business process requirements, clients, company, duly keeping in mind the mechanism used in SAP. Freezing the scheme of entries is one of the important tasks of functional consultant. Rest of the configuration account assignment strategy depends on very much on the scheme of interest. Okay. In this procure to pay process, I'll note down clearly. <clears throat> Hello, Gita. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Gita. So finally you joined. Yes. I okay. forgot to reach out. Sir. You forgot? To reach out mobile, sir. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Okay, no problem. So already we discussed from the beginning, I'm, I wanted to explain because i okay. hope okay you may forget everything but just i wanted to uh, re-verify once again i spoke with you already see for example this uh, scheme of interest procure to pay process okay procure to pay process i wanted to explain okay okay in an in interview question this is one important first priority procure to pay process what is procure to pay process they will ask so answer is already I spoke with you, but the thing is uh, you somewhere you may write or no, may not write. Just I wanted to explain because we are in the end of the almost we are in end end of the class. Okay, that's the reason I wanted to uh, re uh, uh, revision it. So okay, procure to pay, pay procure to pay process. <clears throat> First is answer is. Create purchase requisition. Answer is create. 
create purchase requisition here t code me 51 n here no entry no fa entry please remember next step is create purchase order create purchase order T code ME two one N here also no no FA entry So remaining already I have given so goods received for goods received. So goods received again is to PO. This is the same entry, but I wanted to explain more about this all. Okay, C point C rate. Receive goods, receive goods againest or receive goods receipt. Better goods receipt, simple. Against PO, T code, my go. Goods receipt. So inventory of raw material account data to GRIR clearing account. So inventory of raw material, the we discussed right the code BSX important. Next GRIR clearing account. WRX. Okay, the next is for invoice verification t code myro myro Next for payment to vendor. Next GRIR clearing account, same W or X here also. Next for payment to vendor. These arrows, I'll make it clear very later. Vendor account data to bank. So either you can use payment run F110. Okay, payment run. I told you right F110 for payment run. You remember it right? In a, a accounts payable, we have done the payment run, automatic payment program. Okay. Through we can pay through F-53 or F110. Manual payment is F-53. 
automatic payment program f double one f double one zero automatic payment program okay after next step consumption of raw material and it means issue of raw material to production raw material account data to consumption account okay raw material consumption account data to inventory of raw material to issue of raw material consumption account okay this entire process is very important next finished goods finished goods finished goods account data to cost of goods sold finished goods account data to i'll make it very clear because we people are late join very late we may not cover other stuff so procure to pay process create purchase requisition fa no entry second create purchase order first step is create purchase requisition no fa entry second is create purchase order no fa entry after that once you wish, once you raise the purchase order you will receive the goods my go goods received inventory of raw material account data to grir clearing account ws wrx for inventory of raw material bsx grir clearing account for wrx okay invoice verification grir clearing account wrx so this the bs bsx wrx next gbb also i had told you this codes also whether you read or not this t codes also somewhere i updated see bsx for inventory posting inventory of raw material wrx grir clearing account okay gbb offsetting entry for inventory posting okay next next important is pay payment program also we need to payment program also for automatic payment program also i have given material can you get up can you please open your automatic payment program material Did Yes, sir. Please read it. Okay. In house bank, banking orders controlled by payment method. May, madam, madam, not house bank. I'm, I'm automatic. Guessing. Automatic payment program. Automatic yes, program. Yes, sir. Automatic payment program. First two points. Sir. Oh, please. In house bank, ranking order controls by payment method. N number of ranking orders can maintain in house bank. To do payment for multiple invoices, automatic payment method is used for bulk invoices for multiple vendors. Automatic payment program will work based on next run date and also respect payment terms and due dates. Next due dates means when we are going to execute the payment. Because of the next run date system will due to the invoices due date compares the next due dates. Comparison, well, comparing comparison by using, you are missing some one point. Comparison by using, by using the next next run date invoices due date well, comparison by using next run date okay run date okay yes, while well, comparing system will check the below points first one payment due date best cash and discounts based on payment terms any manual differences to automatic payment method execute we can do payment customers are as well as vendors in automatic program execution we also have reselect which is used to filter the invoices based on selection parameters it includes documents number invoices include are excluded by vendor 
numbers. Okay, next. So this is end user point. Okay, so automatic payment program through run using T code F double one zero. It's it will it will be done by end users. So this all parameters required. Run date identification. We need to we need to maintain the parameters. I mean the vendors company code, paying company code. Okay, payment method. Okay, and uh, these are the important. Uh, we need to we need to explain uh, to so all uh, vendors it will pick through this automatic payment program while running it so we you need to ready to explain it and so after that immediately next question next my question automatic payment program configuration this question also will ask okay t code fbgp automatic payment program configuration please read it your material so the screen also same all company codes paying company codes payment method in country payment methods in company code bank determination house bank so we need to maintain all these parameters all company codes paying company code payment method in country payment methods in company code bank determination house bank geeta please read it one by one okay sir all company codes paying company codes payment methods in country payment methods in company code bank determination house banks okay please one by one read it points wise all company codes next time. point wise you did not take all company codes it's mandatory if we want to execute F double one zero to company code APP payment run. Hello, sir. First, I have to read, sir. Yeah, yeah please go ahead. Okay, sir. all company codes. It specify the sending company codes and paying. Company codes. In all company codes, we will define paying company codes and also we will assign the special GL accounts. We are also having an option if we want to do payment with respect to each business area summarization wise. Next, pay, paying company codes, where we define the minimum invoice amount. To be considered for outgoing payment and incoming payments, also for respective forms. Paying company code means which company is processing the payment. Sending company. Uh, wait, wait, wait! You so one line you missed. Uh, and also the respective forms like payment advices. Like payment. Uh, Sending company means which is sending the money. Next, payment methods in country. Payment method is nothing, nothing but payment medium or mode of payment. Example, check payment and fund transfer. It controls whether it is incoming or outgoing payment and also it clarify, classify the payment mode. Example, bank transfer, check. The payment method controls the payment medium in terms of file format or program. Example, MT01, M MT1013, and MT also DMA. Yeah. Oh, 101, sorry. MT101, MT103, MT and also DMA. And also DMA. Important. So MT101 and MT103, these are important. You can highlight the points. So these are the all important. Okay, next, that's the reason I'm uh, uh, one second revisioning. Okay, please read it. Next point. Yeah, go ahead, please. Oh, okay, sir. Payment method in country. Uh, file, format, file, format. file formats we ah, can yes, do sir. process in text files or in XML. Ah, formats. Yes, file formats we can do process in text files or XML files. 
payment medium program we need for check printing or any transfer document, etc. At payment method in country level, we can restrict the allowed currencies for payment. At payment method level, we can control the allowed countries or also for payment. Yeah. Payment method in company code. If you want to use any payment methods in company code level, the respective payment method should be payment. Minimum accounts, maximum accounts. These two conditions will applicable. Vendor, distribution level. It controls the maximum amount per one paying document. This field we use in check. Grouping of items. Single payment for marked item. If we select the indicator, the system do the payments with respect of each vendor line item wise and also for vendor master. If we select this indicator with the combination of company code during payments by using respective payment method, vendor master data level, individual payment item controls payments has to be happen with respectively each invoice line item wise. If we select at vendor level, it ignores payment method, which means it is applicable for all payment methods. Payment for due day. If we select this indicated system, we'll summarize the invoices based on due dates and system will do payment with respect to to each summarized wise extended individual payment. If we select this indicator system, we'll try to do payment for all the open item invoices by consider due dates or single payments. If we distribute amount maintained, then system ignores the extended individual payment. Foreign payments or foreign currency payments. If the vendor or customer is related to foreign country and we expected to foreign currency allowed. If we want to use foreign currency other than to local currency, we have to use foreign currencies. Customer or vendor bank upgraded allowed. If the customer bank country is other than the... Such cases we need to activate them. Such cases we need to activate. activate. So next important house bank. Yes. In house bank ranking orders controlled by payment method, n numbers of ranking orders can maintain in house bank. To do payment for multiple invoices, automatic payment program is used for bulk invoices for multiple vendors. Automatic payment program will work based on next run date and also respect payment terms and due dates. Next due dates means when we are going to execute the payment. Because of the next run date system will do the invoices due date comparisons by using the next run dates. While comparing system will check the below points. Payment due date, best check discounts based on payment terms, any manual differences. To automatic payment program execution, we can do payment customers are as well as vendors. In automatic payment program execution, we also have reselection which is used to filter that invoices based on selection parameters. It includes document, number, invoices in included or excluded by vendor numbers. Okay, bank determination? Yes. Okay, uh, better we'll go one by one slowly.
Special GL. This is also important. Oh, please read it. Special GL transactions. Special GL transactions has been the following transactions are called special GL transactions. Down payments from customers, down payments to vendors, bills of exchange transactions, guarantees issued or received, etc. Special GL indicator. System uses special GL indicator to understand the nature of the special GL transactions. Example, special GL transactions, special GL indicator used. Down payment, a bills of exchange transactions, W. Uh, this one, just a minute. Uh, Surendra, please read it. Surendra? Yeah, baseline data. Baseline date? Baseline, sorry, baseline date. Baseline date is the date from which terms of payment are applicable invoice date. Okay, it's Field a invoice state. date. It's a invoice date. Baseline date is the date from which terms of payments are applicable. For example, I told you, right, credit card. 45 days, they give limit. So if you swipe today, I mean billing date, based on billing date. For example, 16th is the billing date. Okay, if you swipe 17 days, it will applicable from the today, this date, 17th. Okay, but it is the invoice date. Baseline date is the date from which terms of payments are applicable. The payment terms are applicable. Okay, accounts receivable, oh, dunning. Account in accounts receivables, I told you, a dunning is important. Uh, uh, Surendra, please read. Yeah, dunning. Dunning means uh, remaindering. Entire the process of remaindering, our customers can auto mine, auto mine in SAP. By assigning a suitable during dunning. Automated in SAP. Dunning means remaining. Entire process okay. of remaining our customers can automated in SAP. Automated in SAP. Okay, next. By assigning a suitable dunning procedure, we can maintain a business rule like whether a particular customer is to remainder to remainder at all or not. All or not, if if he is be remainder after how many days, how many times it etc. If a dunning is processes is not assigned in a customer master, system does not send a dunning letter to the customers. We can maintain different level of levels in a procedure so the different forms of reminders can be sent for different levels. We can send level one reminder for the first time, level two reminder after prescribed number of days in the payment is not received, etc. Okay, next. It's important in Dunning. Next, in asset accounting, assignment of accounts for automatic posting. So Dunning F-150, you remember, please remember. Dunning F-150, T code. Okay, next. In asset accounting, assignment of assignment of accounts of accounts for automatic postings are important. T code AO90 is important. Depreciation, depreciation key, capitalization date. These are all important for interview. Uh, we need to create required GL. Ah, see. Please read it. To get automatic postings relevant to tax account, we need to create required GL accounts and assign them to appropriate 
account determination object it means transactions in this case okay account determination case please read it uh someone surendra please surendra sorry uh, please yeah we use automatic posting mechanism extensively in asset accounting just like we use accounting symbols in case of interest calculations as accounts determination object to we use account determination keys as account determination objects in asset accounting in step number 5 we need to define one accounting determination key for each asset class creation in our company as we have six asset classes we need to have six account determination keys sap standard account determination keys are, are available for account mm. class and account determination keys real estate and uh, similar uh, similar rights land on the uh, 10000 10, Techn 10000 technical asset and mechanism plant and machinery 20000 furniture and fittings 30000 down payment made and assets under constructions 40000 we need to create account determination keys for the remaining two classes that is buildings and vehicles we can use 11000 for buildings and 31000 for vehicles okay we have one one minute okay important chart of depreciation chart of depreciation is the organizational unit which contains all the objects required for calculating depreciation business rules pertaining to asset postings are also maintained with reference to chart of depreciation setting up of chart of depreciation setting up of chart of depreciation we can use t code oapl once it is set to one chart of depreciation all the objects created all the documents posted are maintained with reference to that chart of depreciation only okay so please read it once again better to will revision entire